RSV comes from staph infections. So staph infections have been around for a very long time and in people who do need to be treated for staph infections, then usually they're treated with a kind of antibiotic um, that's related to penicillin. And um, again, some of these people didn't take their antibiotic the way they were supposed to, and so now we have a lot of staph infections that are resistant. And this is where MRSA comes from. It stands for Methicillin Resistant Staphylococcus aureus, which is why we call it MRSA, because it's a big, long, confusing title. And um, it is one of the most common resistant infections that's around today. So what it is is a kind of staph infection that is not killed off by methicillin medication. Um, MRSA can be spread in hospitals. So you often hear about MRSA or superbugs being spread around hospitals, but is also spread in communities. So if someone has this, so they have one of these infections on their skin that isn't being cured with penicillin, um, then it's really important that their doctor um, knows about it and that they are making sure that they do everything that, so that it doesn't spread to other people in their house because it's very easy to spread this to other people. Hand washing, of course, is the very easiest way to prevent it from spreading. So antibiotic use in general, about 75% of the antibiotics that, we, that are prescribed for respiratory tract infections are um, given for things like colds, sore throats, ear infections, sinus infections, and things like that. Your respiratory tract is, goes from the very tip of your nose all the way up to the back of your nose and up into your sinuses, which are over your eyes and under your eyes, down your throat and into the very bottom of your lungs. So anytime you have an infection that involves any of those areas, it's a respiratory tract infection. Um, about 50% of the prescriptions that are given for respiratory tract infections are not needed because most of these are actually caused by viruses. And while bacteria can be killed by antibiotics, viruses are not killed by antibiotics. So if you actually have a viral infection and you're given penicillin or something like that, it does not do anything to get rid of the symptoms you're having. All it does is kill off the good bacteria that's in your system, which sets you up for trouble. So why do people get antibiotics if they don't need them? Well, lots of people today expect that they're going to get immediate cures from the healthcare system. We're kind of in a um, immediate gratification world and people expect that when they get sick, they can go to someone and they can get a cure right now and we don't want something that's gonna last for days or weeks. So when someone ends up with a cold or they end up with a respiratory tract infection or an injury, they go into the doctor and they want to leave with a prescription. Now you would think that doctors and nurse practitioners know not to write them, but a lot of them are feeling very pressured and so sometimes prescriptions do get written even when they're not needed. And then there are a lot of people who will doctor shop which means they'll go and see Dr. Jones and Dr. Jones will not give them the antibiotic they want or the treatment they want. And so they'll leave Dr. Jones and they'll walk up the street and go and see Dr. Smith. So people are starting to shop around until they find the answer they want. Forgetting that a lot of the times the doctor or the nurse practitioner is refusing to prescribe something because it's actually the best thing for them. Um, bacterial infections we'll talk about now. Bacterial infections are not as common as viral infections, and we talked before about how they're cousins to each other. Um, they're harder to pass between people than viruses, so viruses spread very, very easy between you and the people sitting next to you and people in the same house as you, whereas bacterial infections are actually a little bit harder to spread. If someone has a bacterial infection, it usually only makes the part of the body sick that's actually infected. So for example, if you have a bacterial infection in your throat, then usually your throat is feeling very sore, but the rest of you is feeling okay. Whereas if you have a viral infection, you can feel quite sick all over. Now pneumonia is an example of a bacterial infection. And it's really important to remember that antibiotics do work against bacteria. Um, now the other option, of course, is a viral infection. And most coughs, sore throats, and chest colds are caused by viruses, so it is much more common. 
Viral infections make your whole body feel sick and just instead of just that one place. So just like the bacterial infection might just make your throat feel sore, the viral infection might make your whole body feel kind of sick. So you might be kind of shaky and feel kind of fevery and all of that kind of stuff. <coughs> Antibiotics do not work against viruses. So if you have a viral infection, Antibiotics are not going to do anything to help because they don't kill them off. 